post there because I was so far behind. I mean, obviously The Legend of Zelda is important because it's my job. Zelda Dungeon is my primary source of income, actually. I don't know if everybody knows that, but... Um, and I have uh, an entire collection of NES games. <laughs> the entire library of NES games. I also own... Yeah, sure, kid. I also own and repair... I've, I've got like eight arcade machines. Classic like 80s arcade machines. So... That being said... There's the, there's the collection aspect. There's the repairing and restoring aspect of the arcades and NES games. But... And I also... I go to the arcade. There's like a local arcade in... There's two local arcades in Chicago. There's the largest arcade in the world is in Chicago that I'm a regular at. More so for the community and kind of just get out of the house at this point. But despite all of that, don't think... Video games are my life. I would say baseball is my primary passion. My youth baseball league. Uh, how did ZD acquire ZI? Uh, so the full story to that, or the, there's not really too much to it. Uh, we were looking for a new editor in chief. And I reached out to Darren Har. Darren was uh, the managing editor at Zelda Informer at the time. So he had experience working in the Zelda community. Uh, he was a young guy. I think he was like 16 years old at the time. And uh, he was doing great work at ZI. Uh, so I reached out to him, see if he wanted a job. This was a little volunteer, but like it was like a pay. It's a little bit of money. There's there's very few people in Zelda Dungeon that almost everybody is volunteer because nobody is expected to do a lot of work. But there are a couple people that we were paying, like a you know a couple hundred bucks kind of thing a month. Nothing, not a job. Anyway. I reached out to Darren, uh, and that kind of led to a ripple effect of uh, the one of the guys who ran ZI at the time was not happy that I had reached out. He thought I was basically like poaching, uh, and in a way, I, I I would say that's probably a An appropriate term, actually. I, I, I don't disagree. Uh, but I was offering somebody a job who previously did not have, was not being paid. So, um, uh, but this led down to me learning a little bit more about the finances of, of the website. It's Zelda Informer. And I th uh, what I had thought was a co-ownership between two people ended up being incorrect information. And the website was actually only owned by one person. Who, and that person was the, the founder of Zelda Inform, but he was not actively involved or... Um, I might be misspeaking when I say this, but I don't feel like he was invested in the long-term growth of the website. He was just more of a manager and in the backs and the behind the scenes. But it was not the person that was doing most of the work at the site. Nevertheless, I um, 
I just flat out made an offer. I'm like, are you interested in selling the website? And initially he's like, not really. But then I made an offer and it was a substantial offer. And he, he took some time to think about it. And he rejected the offer. And uh, I came back with, uh, I waited for a little bit and I came back and I upped my offer. Did I put a horse head in the bed? Uh, I came and I put it, I gave a second offer where I, 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 more of a substantial upgrade to what I was initially offering. And he liked the offer and he accepted it. And then it took uh, a couple months to do some of the legal paperwork and everything. And, but then uh, I took ownership of the website. The, the guy who was doing the bulk of the work at the website became the editor-in-chief. So he was he became the editor in chief of uh, at that of still Zelda Informer. At this time, we kind of shut down day to day operations of Zelda Dungeon, and it was more just the wiki and the maintenance on the guides. We kept the front page going f uh, for a while, but it was more of an archive. All work had shifted to Zelda Informer, and then Darren became the managing editor. Uh, and then over the next year. The editor-in-chief ended up eventually leaving, and Darren became the new editor-in-chief, and then we ended up, Darren hired Andy, uh, and then in late, I think this was 2000, the end of 2016, we decided to merge Zelda Dungeon and Zelda Former, the, the front pages together. And we took the Zelda Dungeon name, uh, mainly because of the legacy of the search rankings and the... We felt it had better um, archive value. And then we... Zelda Former became like a redirect. We transferred a lot of the content. I think we had two years it was the ZDI marathon. Actually, I think it was only one year it was the ZDI marathon. Alright, we got the point bag, so we're gonna get out of Parappa. This is not the best Parappa, though. I'm not gonna go get the health. Well, that's the story. If you heard anybody say anything otherwise, <laughs> it's not true. This guy gives me a bag, I can upgrade my health. Okay. I guess we merged the sites at the end of... I thought we did it before Breath of the Wild. You know, I used to swing Thanks, Jojo. Is your name Jojo, by the way? I 
I've golded like the second, third, fourth, and fifth split today. Okay, life spell is where there's a lot of time save, what I'm realizing. So if I minimize my encounters. I think there was a period of time where that's what Zelda Dungeon was known for. I think that's evolved a lot in recent years, though. On Tears of the Kingdom? Tears of the Kingdom? Tears of the Kingdom is fun. There's a Bruce Dickinson song called Tears of the Dragon that always comes to mind when I think of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I like it. My gut tells me something catastrophic happens at the beginning of the game. Maybe Zelda. I feel like ZD is most known nowadays. Uh, hey, John Phoenix, how are you? Uh, I think that the marathon is a very niche thing for our Twitch audience. All right, how about I just gold every single split the rest of the way? What are you guys think? most known for our our interactive map which is connected for Breath of the Wild which is connected to our our wiki that's where the overwhelming majority of our traffic comes from these days actually not overwhelming majority but it is our most popular pages uh, we also one thing, I remember talking to the team about this. Zelda Dungeon now has the most diverse fan base than we've ever had. Because there's a lot of people that know us still as, oh, that's the walkthrough website. Oh, there's a lot of people that know us as, uh, uh, for the interactive map in the wiki. But then there's people that, like, gotten so big where there's people that like Zelda Dungeon uh, oh yeah I listen to their podcast there's enough people that listen to the podcast every week where there's a people that just know us for that there was a period of time where people only knew us like as a social media website like, oh yeah, I know Zelda Informer. I follow their Facebook page. Oh, there's a website attached to this? There was also people that only know us on YouTube. And then there's also people that only know us because of the marathon. So, like, there's like a whole diverse Zelda Under fan base now. It's totally different than at any point in our history. Twilight Princess. Okay, I think I'm going to save a bunch of time here. I might save like 10 seconds. But I think I only, I only got one encounter. Yeah, I should save about... I'm going to be minus like 12, I think. Minus 14. Right, we got a run going finally. Man, if I get the
John Phoenix is that a is that a mole trace or something? Or what is that? Uh... What is the emails? Looks like a firebird. Thanks for tuning in, K Dog. Always nice seeing you. The Phoenix. Where's the lore of a phoenix originate from? Right. Okay, I didn't want to use the magic spell because I knew I was about to get my life upgrade there. Just get hit as many times as possible. There's a strat there. Do you guys feel that the, how well I'm doing the run, does that affect whether you continue to watch? If I'm further along in the game and I'm ahead, that get you are you more inclined to continue watching or is the stream or is the actual gameplay just totally secondary hit percent run My gameplay cannot control your internet quality. Feeling this is gonna be a this could be a gold hammer here if I if I get through this cave pretty well. Everything is going pretty well for the most part. For a while, um, I am winning by 13 seconds, but I think uh, I might be winning by more after this split. I think things are going pretty well. Stick around for another uh, minute. We'll see. If, oh, geez. I'm winning by 13 seconds, but I think I could be winning by more momentarily. Even before this guy knocks me into the lava. Okay, good. I think I'm going to save some time here. I don't want that, I just took damage there. Look at that gold. I knew I was having a good split, but I didn't know about that. Alright, we're, we're, in, we're in gold land here. Look at this. We're golding all over the place. Let's not fall into lava. Uh, the sum of best was at 124.57, I think. We've cut a significant amount of time off my, uh, 
we've golded almost, I think every single segment except we didn't gold life spell. This is not the first run. Been uh, well, more runs than I hope we would have had to done. As I, I, I mentioned this at the beginning, but I think uh, I've changed my end game goal right now where I kind of just want to get through. What kind of order of songs is this? This is a living room, but I think it's on random right now. Uh, my goal is to get 90 minutes, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna play something else. So this could be the last uh, stream of this game. Okay, I always lose time on this split. I'm, I'm. This is a gold that I'm up against, and it's a good gold. Okay, that was a good Daria though. Uh, the goal was sub 80, but then I realized I would be playing this game for the rest of my life. I'd have to do some research and serious practice to get to 80. That's kind of what I realized. That was the goal initially, though. It might be the long-term goal, but I think I'm going to get sub 90 and take a break and then come back to it. Okay, jeez, I'm getting every encounter in the world now. Oh, my health is fading. So I got out of that at least. A jar would be nice here. Don't give me a point bag. No point bag. There's no point in a point bag. Alright. Don't even need that point bag. not get hit by every single enemy in the world here. Okay, I'll, I I gained that's a that's up against that water of life split is a gold. And it's a good gold too. There's not much time to save there at all. I also think that this game is probably, uh, ooh, I don't have enough to cast jump. Alright, I'm gonna lose time on this fairy spell. Probably gonna be like minus twenty. But uh, I have a feeling if I stream some other games, there might be more interest in the stream as well. But I think this is not. This is probably. Uh, I don't think this is the least interesting set of Zelda game to watch speedrun, but it's up there. Stalnox, thank you for five years in this business. Five years. 
Man. Thank you. This didn't lose that much time. Okay, don't die in this cave. I purposely didn't talk to the woman to get my health. Because I felt confident enough that I wasn't going to get hit twice by the Goria. I have died in this split before. This cave can be very misleading. Oh jeez, what was that? Alright, we're good. Uh, I... Hey, Matt Jr., by the way. And now we're in the part of the run where I lose time every single split. Uh, I've run Link to the Past quite a bit. Maybe I should go back to Link to the Past for a little while. I do want to do that. But I was thinking of trying something more modern. A new Zelda game. And something I might train for for like a future marathon as well. You know, Josh and I. I'm sure Josh is here already. Not already, but he's probably been here the whole time, sitting in the background. Maybe I can summon him. Uh, but we've talked about what we want to play against each other for the 2023 Zelda Under Marathon. There's a few options on the table, but some of them require me to practice, some of them require him to practice. Jojo, thank you very much. Did my, uh, my my dating talk get you to stay here? Or was it the gameplay? Maybe Josh is not here. Maybe Josh doesn't want to be called out. And he's here and he's listening. There's been uh, further setbacks. when it comes to the screen. <laughs> the Great Mossy Social Experiment, which has probably been done by uh, many people before. I thought that usually is a jar or a point bag. Maybe it, did I get off by one? say 
kind of just solidified some prior beliefs. But it just makes things a little more challenging. This song is so... This is such a beautiful song. I don't think I'm going to gain time here. I think I'm going to lose a little bit of time. I gained a lot of time. Literally, I don't know what I'm talking about. It hurts your head because, like, the... That's the... Yeah, that's the that's the game. That's not the stream because it hurts mine. I wonder if it was like that on a CRT TV. Yeah, everything was just probably so blurry, but you don't even notice it. I just realized uh, I clicked away from whenever I click away from uh, Chrome it doesn't show what song is playing and let me He has no fear of failure. She's my best with broken dreams. Future's just beginning when you're always 17. The song is called She's Always 17. Get it to click there. Do I need it? No, I don't. Mel, how are you? the minigame argued my you almost after level one you never want point bags this, this, this run has been going pretty well
I'm sorry to hear about your, uh, that you're not feeling well, Mel. I'm a little worried. I'm not really worried. That's not the right word. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. Because this is the first... First Halloween at my new house. And I don't know what level of trick-or-treaters there are. I don't think there's going to be virtually any trick-or-treaters, though. I, yeah, I don't think I'll have any. Cool guy. More first-time chatters. Welcome. What is that emote? Or is that the official cool guy welcome? Joining the stream. Is that thing crying? No, it's not. It's not there. Not coat, okay. He's the last of the protest singer. Selling the truth and oh, this is the first album, this is the only album, the posthumous. The word posthumous? That's a word, right? Posthumous. Yeah, this this is the posthumous Harry Chapin album. Good song. It's a good album, too. Got a couple of my favorite songs by his. This room has ruined runs before. Both on the way there and on the way back. Okay. I used to be really good at this, but I screwed this up a few times in a row. Okay, that was awesome. Alright, we're getting time. It's not dying in this room. Maybe I should just use jump, the jump spell in that room. I'm gonna see what the what the pros do. Pretty good run. I mean, the next dungeon is the make or break. Like dungeon five is not really risky. There's nothing. Nothing's gonna happen in dungeon five that's gonna make, make or break the run. I don't think. Dungeon four though, that could happen. I could also die against the boss here, but I'm in good shape right now with my magic. shape with yeah we're in good shape here actually I think this has been a good split I think we might if we get a good boss here we'll save some time I'm gonna use shield just in case Oh, I 
screwed that up big time. This is not what we wanted with our lives. Okay, I recovered okay. Alright, lost probably 10 seconds there. Uh, not quite 10 seconds, but that's okay. We made it out of... Any run where you haven't died and you're not far behind out of West High Roll is a good run. Nothing to lose sleep over. Somebody raided. Nick Coat. Nick Coats. Uh, thank you for the raid. Nick Coates, do I know you? If I don't know you, hi. If I know you, sorry, I forgot who you are. But uh, what were you playing? It's always good to dodge the big boys in, this, in these screens. Getting from Anki. Oh, were you from uh, from the the Raiders? The Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, oh god, I forgot. This is always the mega break here. You gotta get the uh, encounter skips. Just getting from uh, what kind of just a regular run of Majora's Mask or? Are we into the Midnight is calling. the good old speed runs? Alright, that was because I got that encounter in the desert outside of level 3. Nicole's welcome. Thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. What, uh, were you playing, uh, just a, a good old fashioned Majora's Mask, or was there something? Special kind of run. I get this free guy here now because now I hope it has a lesser chance of me getting an encounter. Look at this walk. Look at this walk. Alright, let's see. Here, this is the make or break here. Come on. Alright, first one down, three to go. damage here okay we are in good shape this could gold here I'm gonna get this health I need magic because I gotta First playing since I was a kid, loving it once again, and thinking about doing 100%. I assume you're playing on, are you playing on the Switch or uh, N64 or like an emulator or something? I, let me rephrase, I assume you're not playing the 3DS version? Switch Online, okay. I, I personally feel that that game I, the, the quality of life improvements of the 3DS version make the, the N64 one hard to play. But that's just my own take on, on the situation. I think I'm going to save 
a lot of time here. Oh, I'm not going to gold. But. If I can get some encounter skips here. This get boots. There's a lot of time save on this get boots. What? Know that. Sometimes the randomizers, like, distort the actual game. Like. Sorry, I gotta concentrate here for a second. Oh boy. seconds is gone but there's still time safe so we're okay thank you and uh, I appreciate the, the raid and I uh, hope you rekindle your childhood memories with Majora's Mask as you get stuck there's this website called Zelda Dungeon those guys kind of know what they're talking about when it comes to the Legend of Zelda I recommend using their website. I know the guy who runs it and he's a, he's a great guy. Or so he likes to tell people. Never heard of it? Is that like Zelda Universe? Uh... There's some differences. I think it's a good website. I don't really view Zelda Universe and Zelda Dungeon in this. As strange as it sounds, the sites are so different in, their, in terms of their focus. Zelda Wiki, Zelda Wiki or Zeldapedia? What just happened in this room? That was pretty awful right there. Okay. spell here but I just feel threatened every time I make that jump gotta kill this doom knocker without him falling don't fall oh he's gonna give me a hard time on the way back Wow, the timer's already going for the boots. Okay, not the worst death. That's a bad death, but we can recover. I'll actually save time on that death, but see how far 
you know what? There's a chance I can actually redeem this and not be in the neg- I can still be in the negatives after this boots, maybe. If I have a really good room here. Oh wait, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a room off, never mind. Oh no, no, I'm right here. Oh come on, don't do this to me. Okay, we're, we're still, we're, 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 as Spawny would say, we're out here. I can make it through. I might strategically death again. I I, I think I'm. Let's see where my magic and health are. But on the third one of these, I might strategically. Die, strategically die. This one does not have the jar. I think only the first and third one. Eight, seven, three. No, we don't want this. You got this. Thank you, Mel. I used to kill these guys, but now I'm a little more confident, confident in my gameplay. Stop taking damage here. Watch it all just fade away, boy. It came down to the last Okay, I think I'm uh geez, my health is not good. You kinda uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna die against the I might take a strategic death here. And you try to find some courage on your knees. Then there's always the I can always get that extra life in the forest. We'll see how the game goes. It kind of jar that doesn't. What? Wow, I never get that point back. <laughs> okay, I can't die here. No, no death here. I'm scared now. Uh, I'm probably gonna die here. How about a jar? Uh, this doom knocker might kill me. No jar. There's another doom knocker here. He might kill me. I don't think I have enough magic to activate jump because I need jump here. I want to strategically die, but I. This is the room to die in, but. Okay, that's okay. I would have much rather died on the way back. I'm gonna jump, use the jump spell though. Good, I got one of them triggered. Okay, this is not bad, this is all right. Okay, all things considered, that room was okay. I have enough. I think I can cast Reflect still. Or... We're okay. We're out here. I love this song. I 
think we might we could we could still gain time on this split here. But I think the we're at the boss here. Doom knocker and then the boss. Oh no doom knocker here. Is this the boss right here? Oh, one more room. Save time this dungeon. Okay. Okay. Man, if I got if I didn't screw up so many times with those encounters, it'd be a special run here. We still got, we got a good chance at a PB here. Question is if I beat this dungeon without dying, do I get the extra life? I think if I'm minus like 40, I think I'm gonna get the if if I'm minus 40, I'm gonna get the extra life. You don't need it? this I can't get hit by a bubble because I need I need to be able to cast jump but I, this is always the tough one because I have to, to hit this and turn around real quick okay good I think it, it costs two and a half magic to two and a half boxes of magic to cast jump, and I need it in this next room. It's like it's it's essential. Just, how did I mess that up twice? Shoot. My health is lacking here. There's so much magic, though, in this dungeon. So as long as I don't, if I can get through this block room without dying, I can't die here. Can't use shield, darn it. Oh, come on, good RNG, good RNG. Three blocks in a row right here. No, don't do this to me. I know when a child is hurting, that silence can be wrong. I know when there are folks helpless, I can't just pass along. And I know when someone's hungry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I will get the extra life. I think that's what I'm going to do. But let's see. Well,. You know, one option is to not get it until after the Hidden Palace. See how the Hidden Palace goes. Because it's not to it's not out of the way. It's maybe it maybe loses 5 seconds, 10 seconds. What do you think of that idea? See how the Hidden Palace goes? I think I might try that. <laughs> but I'm like banking it on like... Because like if I die, then I'm going to be behind on time and I'm like, oh, I can't afford time to get this one up. But then if I don't die, I'm going to be way ahead. And it's going to be like, well, I haven't died. Do I need it? <laughs> The solution to this is just don't die. 
Yeah, this room ruins my life sometimes. Yep. JDD. Yeah, was, was that Ashton that invented the... Invented? That's not the right term, but... Update the uh, night, uh, the choice is simple. I can scold him. Five AM, uh, it's five AM Monday morning. to like feel it so I'm in concentration mode like when I'm in prep it's like all right if I die I die kind of thing it's frustrating when you die but it's like who cares I don't wanted that point back I don't know if I need it though because I got the point back earlier Mel where where do you guys live What time zone are you? I got, uh, I don't even need this jar here. I got full health. Are you near Chicago? Oh, what kind of spawn is that? I think of Central, it's either Chicago or somewhere in Texas. Depending on traffic, it could be a two day drive to Chicago from where I'm at. Not really, that's an exaggeration, but. Oh, Wisconsin, I apologize. Not for not knowing, but I apologize because you're from Wisconsin. Get out of my way, bubble. Okay, I think I need a point back because I gotta get to 700 before Barba. Not Barba, before. Uh, I gotta cast life here. Five eighty nine. There's three iron knuckles, so even if one of them gives me a jar, I can kill the blue one. If I don't kill one of these mo, mo buddies. Yeah, I'd rather fight the Iron Knuckle. I don't really know how to fight, kill these guys rapidly. It, it just happens sometimes. I'm gonna detour and get this. Because I might need a fight. Hopefully this red one just gives me... 700. 500 for the boss, we're at 1200, we're good. Uh, yes, Locke, this is where, this is where runs die. This is where, uh, it's, it's known as Attack 9. There's actually a term for it in the speedrunning community. It's like, oh, you got Attack 9. It only goes up to level 8.
Spell, spell, spells up next. In that Nintendo Power project I'm working on, they talk about a skip here that's part of the speedrunning community. That after the River Devil, and you can dodge an encounter if you get. Found it kind of funny that it was literally in Nintendo Power. Alright, I don't think I'm going to get the guy. I think I'm just going to go go for it. And I think if I... I need two guys coming out of Hidden Palace. I need a guy to spare. Maybe I should have a fire split. Alright, I'm out of water. No more water. No water. No problem. My predicted time is 132.03. What does that tell you about my late game? If, if based on my history, the predicted time. <sighs> so this skip right here, I think I got the skip in my PB. So I'm gonna lose a bunch of time. Ferry twice, so that means I'm not gonna ferry and get the life. We ain't getting no life. I could have got there without second encounter. I died at this guy the other day when I couldn't do that down stab right there. I really. The problem with this speedrun sometimes is I don't play this portion of the run very often. I was told the strategies did not get this until afterwards. Which I probably shouldn't. I should probably just fill up on my mat. I know it's the same thing. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, most speedrunners, they they only play the later portion of the game. They play it far less than the early portion. I have two guys right now. Wait, two guys. Does that mean... If it says two on the menu... 
Does that mean I have my guy and one more? Or do I have my guy and two more? I always cast fairy here. I mean, sorry, fire on this screen just to. Just so I don't get wrecked. Although, really, I don't think I need it right here. Because I don't need the experience points. And I have three hearts. And I'm gonna get a heart container here, so like a lot has to go wrong for me to game over. Hey fairy! Another first-time chatter. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Do I know you, <laughs> or do you know me? Who are you? Who's your father? What do you do for a living? Who's your daddy and what does he do? Jeez, I didn't cast life at Okay, that was almost as bad as could have possibly just happened that sequence Run is definitely not over but that was not pleasant Fortunate location of fire. See the rainbow in the meadow, the sunlight chasing the shadow. Such a thing as a day for leaving. This is one. What is this? Don't let the old dog come follow. Okay, I don't think I'm actually gonna lose time here, but I this is a perfect opportunity for time save. So in the future, get cross is a huge time save. Oh no! Oh my goodness. I jumped way too early there. I 
feel I do have more confidence in my Barba fight. If I can get there. There is time saving in this in the Great Pals too. A lot of time saving in the Great Pals actually. Lukewarm. is falling apart here I, I I don't have I have five full bars I need to cast fairy oh my goodness that's not enough I need a magic drop please magic drop Amber, how are ya? Please, magic drop. Two more guys here for magic drops. Oh no. Okay, I, I got, I'm gonna go get the, the. I'm gonna get the free guy here and take a death. I gotta get by this guy without dying, though. I need to use shield. I don't want to kill him, though. Okay, I have three guys. So I have two. I, I don't need that extra guy, then. I have a great Barba fight, I can actually be ahead here. Alright, come on. We need a good jackhammer here. What was that? By good jackhammer, I mean no jackhammer at all, apparently. That was a bad fight, but a decent recovery. This is the part of the run where I lose time on virtually every single split. Temperature is, is, is boiling right now. Boiling. <laughs> but I can tolerate it though. Not with that gameplay. The, there's the temperature of the kitchen, but there's also the toleration of the heat. Who do I look? Do I look like Allison Aletha to you? Is that what you guys think of me? No. 60 degrees is too hot for the kitchen for her. Gotta be well into the triple digits before heat bothers me.
gonna come down to the Valley of Death. We gotta get a good Valley of Death. Okay, I'm not gonna. I always. Oh, I don't. I did want. I did not want to get an encounter there. Yes. One down, two to go. Yes. 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 Makes up for those terrible encounters I had earlier. is good the outer edge of trouble makes you talk for the stars are the cliffs that you try to climb this less likely you are to fall shoot i call you my man this is only one kind okay. of battle makes you flee it's when you don't die here I don't have spell, spell, spell. Okay, we're going to be behind in the Great Pals, but not by much. We have a chance for a PB here. I have two deaths to, to, to use up. No, that Valley of Death was not bad. That Valley of Death was not bad. I will take that almost every... I might have been going up against the gold, but that was a decent Valley of Death. I could still get 30. I can still get sub there. There's more than 20 seconds of time safe here. I can't die against this guy here. I'm gonna, you know what? Use shield just in case. Playing some defense here. Strategically die here. is still possible sub 90 is still possible
That was a little, uh, a little sketch, but that's okay. I could take a death right before Thunderbird. Because Thunderbird, I'm gonna get... Killing Thunderbird, I'm gonna get the next upgrade, so I can, I'll can i be fine against Dark Link. Dump, thank you. We have a shot. We have a shot. Don't get killed by this firebird. That's good. We have a shot here. We have a shot. Uh, yes, Scott. Hi, Scott, by the way. I'm gonna take the death here. Okay, now I can't fall. I I've died against these guys right here before. Two minutes. Two minute warning. Come on, God. Come on, Moss. Come on, Moss. What is this? This is a bad Thunderbird. <sighs> I think I still got it. No shield here. is taking forever. Wow. Thanks, everybody. Gosh, you were here all along. I knew it. Oh, my goodness. There are so many spots in this run that... Man, maybe I should run it back for 128. One thirty. I've joined the one thirty club. How many golds did I have? This this West High. This oh my goodness. There's still so much time to save. One two three. Three golds. No golds in this whole second half. I was ahead. First split, okay, this is only because I didn't get the magic jar. But then I was... At game time, then I was ahead the entire run. 
until <laughs> until the grid comes. Thanks, time crash. Thirty-three, eighty-eight, ninety. Oh yeah. Ugh. Ow. Got 46 people watching this. This nonsense. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I am going to play a different game the next time I stream.